Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Time for another perfume review and it's Versace's turn today. So this is a review of their latest perfume which is called Versace Pour Femme Dylan Blue. So don't know who Dylan is but apparently he's blue and apparently it was time to make a perfume for him. So here it is. So the first thing to note about this perfume is the bottle. So the bottle is almost like an Arabic type smut, um, style. It reminds me a bit of some of the Bulgari bottles. It's like a thick um, solid blue, like royal blue with gold outlines. The Versace like woman's head, gold, you know, it's a very opulent. You can imagine it in a sort of Middle Eastern um, villa, you know, Versace's Italian villa, what, like it's very decadent and rich and because the colours, you know, the dark blue, the gold, when I saw it I thought, okay, this is going to be like an aromatic, heavy, per this is going to be intense perfume. I couldn't have been more wrong. So it was very bizarre spraying this for the first time um, because, I have it here on a card, it is literally like not heavy at all and it was almost sort of took me aback because I was so not expecting that. Um, so the first thing to note is that the bottle does not match the scent. Um, the bottle is beautiful and really nice and um, you know on close inspection yes it does look a bit plasticky but fundamentally like from a meter away it looks like a really cool bottle. Um, so there's a lot of people um, saying that this perfume smells like shampoo and I kind of see where they're coming from, like sort of L'Oreal, Pantene, um, Aussie, I can kind of see how they're saying this smells like shampoo. There are a lot of fragrance notes in this perfume and I think what has happened is there's almost too many and they have just merged together to create a sort of generic floral feminine smell um, so it doesn't really smell of one more than another they've all just merged together so at first when you spray it you get some fruity notes so you get a lot of apple you get a lot of peach I don't think there is any cantaloupe melon in here but to me it smells like there there is that kind of fragrance and then as those fruity notes disappear after five ten seconds the florals come through so oh, there's also black currants as well but it's basically um, rose hip, um, kind of like a peony type smell. I think there is a teeny bit of rose in here. And also clover, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, who wants to smell like a clover, right? And then a ton of other fragrances. And then the base notes are a little bit of musk and a slightly woody smell, but mainly musk. Um, so once it's settled down it basically smells like flowers with some musk so it is quite generic um i have to say i am disappointed because you know versace is a cool brand the bottle was awesome and i think this was a real opportunity for them to release like a, a best-selling like hit fragrance and they've just like hit a bum note with this one really and it's you know it's a shame um Having said that, I think this what this would be good for is maybe like a gift because the smell is so generically feminine. I think it would be difficult for someone to dislike it. Um, and I'm sure there are people out there who love this and this is the perfect fragrance for them just like there is with every fragrance and that's fair enough. But for me, I just can't see this having like a big fan following, people going back buying it again and again when there's so many other better perfumes out there. I think Versace really need to rethink their fragrances, like get new people in and think about where they want to play because at the moment they're just not even in like anywhere near the best sellers and they could be. Now it really does smell like shampoo. It really does. That's so weird. It's the kind of thing you'd like it would be nice to spray when you've just got out of the shower you know like fresh in the morning but the bottle is like so evening it's just so weird 
so yeah so I hope that review is useful <laughs> um if it is then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up check out some of my other reviews but that's it so thank you so much for watching and bye for now